Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. We're going to be continuing the series of If Wizard 101 Had Guilds. In this episode, we are going to talk about the requirements. If you guys don't know, the past episode, we talked about the building, where the guild building could be, if it's actually going to be a building, what's the best location for wizards to go to for information about guilds, how to start a guild, leave a guild, etc., etc., etc. So if you guys did not watch that video, make sure you go watch it. And without further ado, let's get started. So this video is going to be about the requirements what are the requirements of joining a guild what are the requirements of making a guild what does a wizard need to do in order for the game to allow them to get into guilds period so first off i believe guild should be something in the game that is late game and not early game um it can be a little bit of an early game for newer players but if you're going to be a, a guild leader and make a guild that should definitely be late game especially the content of guilds should be late game it should be something once you get the max level or once you already have your gear and uh there's no more pve for you to do there's no more grinding for you to do you can get into guilds as a as a source of entertainment if you will with that being said i think it should be fairly expensive to make a guild early on in the game earlier players don't have that much gold so if we make it where guilds is an early game content that also would mean that the creation of a guild shouldn't be that expensive since we're catering it to early players which i think we should not do i think guilds should be catered to uh players who've played the game for a while uh enough for them to have a high level character with that being said i think making guilds should be a level 100 and plus thing plus thing you can only make a guild on a level 100 character with that being said there should definitely be a gold cost or how much gold it will take you to actually create a guild i think this should be 675,000 gold which means we're going to have to raise the the gold amount uh um by a, a substantial amount i think it should be 1 million i think the max amount of gold should be 1 million in order to create a gold it will cause you 675,000 gold the reason why i chose this number is because i personally find myself at max amount of gold a lot of the times and i'm pretty sure i'm not the only player i'm pretty sure across the board max players find themselves with an abundant amount of gold because they just don't have anything to buy uh, at max level i feel like most of our gold goes towards pets and when you already have a pet that you want and and i'm not what that you want but a pet that you have and you don't need any more pets for that character there's not really much to spend gold on so yeah at the point of having max gold i know that characters all they do is they go to the bazaar and buy as many empowers as possible and buy as many reagents as possible even if you don't need it you just have max gold and you don't want to waste gold per se so you just go and splurge as much things as you can just for the future i suppose but yeah i think level 100 should be the level count mainly because this uh ensures that the player has played the game enough to have a grasp on the game now once you're level 100 it, it, you have to have been playing the game for a while there's no way you're level 100 you've been playing for a week you know it also ensures that the player likes the game and they'll come back uh there's nothing worse than a guild leader abandoning their guild and at level 100 i feel like the player is going to continue to play the game thus not abandoning their guild the second requirement for joining a guild i think should be uh, level 50. at level 50 i feel like that's high enough level for someone to have their foot in the door in wizard 101 um enough to actually like the game and come back to the game um i wouldn't want someone to join my guild who's a level 10 and they just join a guild just to join a guild and then they're just inactive and they're not they're not contributing to the guild or anything like that so i think level 50 should be the level uh, at which you're able to actually join a guild with that being said i think uh the guild cost should be between zero and a hundred thousand gold the reason why this is a um a range amount is i believe that guild leaders should allow their guild to have requirements of which players have to follow for them to join a guild if that makes sense so if i'm a guild leader i can set a range between zero and a hundred thousand gold at which is a requirement for someone to uh, join my guild now you may be asking where does this gold go uh is it just deleted from the character or does this gold actually transfer to somewhere i think this gold should be transferred into the guild bank a guild bank uh we'll go into that in a later date and another episode but essentially what a guild bank does it is it stores items and um currencies except crowns because 
AI wouldn't do that, but it accepts uh, 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 currencies like gold and uh, it, it uh, accepts items and stuff like that. And later down the line, this gold would be used for guild upgrades, uh, for guild dungeons, etc., etc., etc. Essentially, if you're going to contribute something into your guild, you're not going to use your own personal uh, gold amount. You're going to use the gold amount that is connected to your actual guild. And to get this gold, players will have a requirement of a certain amount of gold amount that they will spend to join your guild. You can actually put gold into your guild, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe in uh, guild dungeons, uh, you complete a guild dungeon, you'll get gold for that. You uh, win a guild tournament, you get gold for that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We're going down in those categories down the line or whatnot. But yeah, I also think there should be additional requirements for someone to join a guild. For example, armor rating. Uh, if you guys don't know, we went past item rating. Uh, we made an item rating video if you guys want to watch that. Uh, link will be down in the description, but yeah, we made an item rating video. These item ratings is essentially the uh, rating of the armor that you're wearing. The better armor that you're wearing, the higher your item rating is. If you add that all together with the divided by the amount of armor that you're wearing, you get your armor rating. And um, essentially, this requirement will make it where if someone isn't wearing good enough armor, then they can't join your guild. I personally wouldn't want a level 130 with 80 damage and 50% and crit to join my guild. And this will help me make sure that only good players with good gear will be allowed to join my guild. Another requirement that we can have is PvP rating. Maybe you have a PvP guild and uh, you make it where only people who are commander, only people who are warlord can actually join my guild. Anyone below that can't join. Another requirement is class. Maybe you have a fire class only guild or a storm only guild. You can make it where a player has to be a specific school in order to join your guild. Additionally, I believe that membership should be a requirement for someone to join a guild. I don't think non-members should be allowed to join guilds. I think this should be a member-only accessible thing. Another requirement that somebody could have or a guild can have is badges. Uh, you can lock your guild behind a badge. If a, if a player has this badge unlocked, then they'll be able to join your guild. And if they don't, then they won't be able to join your guild. But yeah, that's all for today's video. The requirements of what are the requirements to joining a guild? What are the requirements for uh making a guild uh etc 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 hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you have some requirements let me know down in the comments down below and uh yeah i'll, I'll look at them leave a like probably comment back and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like on the video i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day and peace